Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're joining us from, and welcome to our HexaSkin live demo webinar. We're very excited to show you what we've prepared today. My name is Dennis Chavez, sales manager here at HexaSkin, and I'm joined by Daniel Borelli, customer success manager. On today's agenda, we'll be going over HexaSkin and the HexaSkin Connected Health Platform, its features and capabilities, and how useful HexaSkin can be for your research studies or project, whether small or at a large scale. All right, let's get started. So a little bit of background about who we are. Uh, HexaSkin's been around since 2006, and we're based out of Montreal, Canada. Our mission is to streamline and organize the health data collection process and make it accessible and useful across various industries. The HexaSkin and AstroSkin connected health ecosystem includes body-worn sensors, a web and mobile app, and a secured cloud-based online dashboard. We also offer data management, analytics, and reporting tools to make sense of all of your data with artificial intelligence. Overall, the system can be used in a wide range of research areas and industries, with research being conducted in healthcare, academia, space, clinical development, emergency first responders, security and defense, and sports. Now, I've just mentioned the body-worn sensors. More precisely, we've designed two types of smart shirts. Our most recent release was the HexaSkin Pro shirt, and the Pro shirt is designed to meet the needs of professionals looking for a more robust smart wearable to be used for longitudinal studies. The Pro Shirt for men and women comes with integrated adjustable bands in order to keep the tactile embedded sensors as close as possible to the skin for optimal data quality signal. We've also designed pockets that can hold the HexaSkin smart data recorder in several different positions to maximize comfort during your recording session, whether you're active or at rest. We also have our most accessible and initial wearable called the HexaSkin Smart Shirt, available for men, women, and kids. Now we'll review some uh, key features of the HexaSkin Shirt. With numerous iterations since its release back in 2012, the shirt's been designed with features that make it reusable and durable without any compromise on comfort and portability. HexaSkin is machine washable, with antibacterial properties that eliminate odor, has UV protection, is breathable, will dry up in as little as two hours, and all HexaSkin shirts are made of the same stretchable spandex textile that are made here in Canada. And finally, the shirt covers most population, and as such, HexaSkin comes in sizes ranging from two extra small to four extra large for men and women, and two extra small to extra large for pediatrics. I mentioned the smart data recorder in one of my previous slides. Paired with the HexaSkin shirt, the HexaSkin smart device is used to record and store biohealth data. The device is super light and designed in a small form factor that's about the size of a matchbox. The HexaSkin smart device gets up to 36 hours of continuous raw and processed data recording with no interruption records up to 42,000 data points per minute, 100 days of raw data storage. The smart also includes a Bluetooth low energy for real-time data visualization on the HexaSkin apps, compatible with both iOS and Android. Developers can also leverage their SDK licenses by accessing raw and process data in real time directly from the HexaSkin device and have the data stream onto your own app. We'll go over our SDK features later on in the presentation. So what's in the HexaSkin? So the HexaSkin monitor various health vital signs and a very, is a very precise tool to continuously monitor ECG, respiratory, and activity parameters using built-in sensors embedded in the smart garment. The HexaSkin shirt is built with three embedded textile dry electrode, which generates continuous one lead ECG. Based on the cardiac sensors, you'll be able to get heart rate, heart rate variability, heart rate recovery, QRS detection, RR intervals, and various data quality assessment channels. HexaSkin also integrates two respiratory inductance plethysmography rip sensors built at the thoracic and abdominal level 
getting you access to breathing rate, minute ventilation, tidal volume, inspiration and expiration, and various data quality assessment channels. And finally, the built-in three-axis accelerometer, accelerometer embedded in the smart device measures acceleration in X, Y, and Z direction, which gets you to monitor activity level, step count, cadence, and even body positions during sleep. Now, this is just a quick overview of the different biohealth uh, that can be monitored with Hexoskin, and we'll just go over capabilities in more details in just a few. But as you can see with these integrated sensors, the system can be used in a wide range of industries, all in a non-obstructive way. So with that in mind, what does it all mean and how can you make sense of all of this in real world scenarios? I'll now pass it over to my colleague, Daniel Borelli, Customer Success Manager, to go over some neat features and capabilities, but also how data can be useful for your research. All right. Thank you very much, Dennis, for introducing the Hexoskin shirt and platform. Let's now dive a little deeper to see how it actually works and what you can actually use it for. Now, I've got my shirt on me right now. We're just going to see how easy it is to start. So I've got my shirt. I'm going to fasten my elastic belts at the front to make sure that the shirt stays in place during the record. I'm going to reach in and grab the connector. And I'm simply going to plug this in my recording device. The data starts recording right away and is streamed to the phone that I've got right next to me. And we'll just take a look at the ECG. Dennis mentioned we've got a one lead ECG. This is measured continuously. On the right hand side, this is what you would see on the app in real time. Um, so with the ECG and having the sensors placed right up on the, the chest, we're able to get a very crisp and clear signal, which allows us to distinguish um, between the different peaks and valleys in our ECG signal. This is very useful for measuring all of our cardiac metrics, things like heart rates and RR intervals. So the interval of time between each beat. This is in turn is also very useful when doing things like heart rate variability. Um, this is something I'll touch upon in a few slides, but basically our heart is in a constant uh, dance or competition between our parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system. And the balance of these two can affect different things. So it can give an insight into cardiac health and illness, and it can also give an insight into mental health. So things like monitoring stress, anxiety, and even depression. So I'll, I'll dive into this in, uh, in a few slides. And of course, with our ECG, we're able to monitor things like the heart rate recovery following an activity or an intense physical exercise. The cardiac metrics are presented to you in different ways. You've got the fitness tests that are right on the mobile app. So as you're recording data, you can launch one of these tests and once the test completes, you have your data right onto your phone. Uh, once you record your data, you can plug it to your computer and have your data on our dashboard. And that's where you'll see a lot more processed data that we'll be able to give to you. Uh, we'll present to you things like the heart rate, your maximum heart rate, some HRV components, um, and also the VO2 estimate. And graphically, you can see your data in different highlighted zones that you've tagged with your phone along with your annotations or any other flags that you've included during your data collection. Moving on to our breathing uh, sensors. On the right-hand side, you've got the live view of the breathing sensors in real time, given on the phone. So these sensors basically measure the stretch and contraction of your rib cage during breathing events. And the waveform reflects that directly. So based off the waveform, we calculate things like breathing rate, inspiration and expiration uh, event detection. Um, all of these metrics are very useful for let's say a fitness um, evaluation, but they're also useful in a lot of clinical and research-based uh, contexts. We also calculate minute ventilation, tidal volume, and we'll use your user profile to adjust some of these metrics. And finally, like I mentioned a little earlier, we have a VO2 max estimate. This is a test you can launch directly from your mobile phone. It will use your GPS and it'll be able to give you an estimate of your oxygen consumption during your, your running activity. 
the way we present this data is twofold. So we've got the application on the phone that will give you real-time information when you launch the tests in our, uh, in our app. Um, and then finally, we've got our accelerometer that's able to give you the acceleration on the three axes in real time. This is what you would see on our mobile app. Uh, the accelerometer is very precise and is used to calculate a lot of metrics, things like activity, number of steps, the cadence, and even the device position. And we're able to tag or add these activity labels directly in the app with our list of pre-built activities. You can also select your own and give it your own label. And then finally, on the dashboard, all of these accelerations or activity metrics are presented graphically and also in a summary table where you can see all of these metrics reported all together. Now, let's dive a little deeper into the Hexoskin data and let's look at an actual use case that's becoming a lot more popular. Um, actually, it's been, it's been popularized for the past few years, but it's, it's something that people are actually looking at a lot more these days, and that's monitoring stress levels. Um, now, this is not something that is normally easy to do. However, with all of the different sensors built into the Hexoskin shirt and the different stress metrics we report, it's a lot easier to have this done nowadays. So just a little background information on heart rate variability. Like I mentioned earlier, it's reflecting the balance in your nervous system between the parasympathetic or the, the resting and digesting uh, reflexes and the sympathetic nervous system, which is more the, the fight or flight response to, to get away from danger. So when looking at HRV, you can look at different components. One of these are the frequency domains or the power bands um, which represent the oscillation of your RR intervals over a long recording time. We're talking usually hours or even days of recording time. So in these frequency domains, we've got the high frequency spectrum, which normally reflects the parasympathetic or resting activity of your body. Low uh, HF percentages are usually associated with stress and anxiety conditions. Um, conversely, we've also got the low frequency spectrum, which reflects more of the sympathetic uh, nervous system activation, which again can play with the HF percentage to show us the level of stress or anxiety in a given subject. And the ratio to the low, of the low frequency, high frequency spectrums is also something that can give you insights into the uh, state of the actual user. Aside from the frequency domains, we've also got the time domains, which is just looking at the time spacing of the RR intervals. This can be done in smaller sampling sizes, usually five minutes. And in these five minutes, our Hexoskin system is able to compute things like the SDNN, the standard deviation of NN intervals. Um, this is also something that can be used clinically to predict morbidity and mortality. Now, our Hexoskin shirts are not medical devices, but the values we can extract can have clinical significance. Aside from the SDNN, we've also got the popular RMSSD, or the root mean square of the successive standard deviations. This is something um, that correlates well to the high frequency spectrum over long-term recordings. And it can also be paired with other indexes or especially the HRV triangular index, which we provide uh, to distinguish between normal heart rhythm and arrhythmia. Now, there is a caveat when looking or analyzing HRV data, and that is that HRV is specific to each user, and it's highly dependent upon the experimental conditions and the sampling size. So looking at 30 second intervals is probably not as relevant uh, as looking at you know, longer recording times or even comparing different things amongst each other. Our website and our, our team are always available to guide you and provide you these uh, uh, different guidelines for measuring your HRV or using this for, for research. Um, the tools we have at our disposal are plentiful. We've got on our mobile app the REST test, which you can launch and really um, lie still not move for around five minutes, and our app will give you the RMSSD value at that exact moment. 
Um, this is very useful because you can tag these activities at the start of your recording session to set a baseline. You can then have or introduce a stressful event or a situation to, to see how the subject will react. And then you can have this rest activity following the stressful event to see any changes. So to see any changes towards a stressful state. You can also introduce things like therapies, such as med meditation, breathing, exercises, anything to, to help control the subject's stress levels. And then you can have these measurements done afterwards to see if the subject is actually lowering his stress levels or not. Uh, and this can all be done through our dashboard as well by adding these activities on your data, which is what you can see here in the animation. Um, now, another, another significant use case for the uh, Hexoskin shirts is monitoring sleep. Uh, Hexoskin has very robust and validated sleep algorithms, and we're able to report a lot of key sleep metrics, things like total sleep time, sleep, sleep efficiency, sleep percentage. Using our sensors, we can also detect things like sleep phases and sleep positions to see if you're on your back, your side, or your stomach. And during these sleep phases, since we have, you know, let's say eight hours of, of a relatively, you know, motionless data, we're able to compute some HRV metrics during the sleep, including those, um, those spectrum analyses. So if you tag a sleep activity in, in your exoskin data, you're able to obtain things like the HF percentages, and graphically, you can see these changes over time. Um, you can also represent the sleep phases, the breathing rate, the heart rate, all of these metrics can be added on um, in your dashboard. Now, another cool feature about the Hexoskin system is we provide you with the quality files or the quality scores for your data. And this is very important because it lets you quickly differentiate between noisy data and actual physiological events. And there are many ways to look at this. In the data that you can export from the dashboard, we provide you the NN over RR quality ratio. So this just gives you an idea of um, your RR intervals, how noisy or clean they are, depending on the, uh, the filtering that has been done. And of course, we also provide you the ECG and the breathing quality files to let you look at um, your data very precisely. And all of these flags are timestamped. So you're able to distinguish periods of low quality data and high quality data. Moving along, I'd like to show you guys our new sync software called OneSync. It's now available for both Windows and Mac and lets you use and sync your Hexoskin and AstroSkin data on the same interface. Um, with OneSync, it's also possible to manage multiple users all from the same uh, interface. So if you have a few Hexoskin devices or a few Hexoskin shirts, and you have multiple people going to use them, you can easily manage the account assignment from the OneSync interface. Um, furthermore, we've also added a local decoding feature uh, that lets you access your Hexoskin data right onto your PC without passing by our server or our dashboard to get your data. Uh, so to use this feature, it's very easy. You just need to activate it in your preferences. As soon as you plug your Hexoskin device to your computer to download your sessions, you'll have an option to access the data right onto your PC. So this can let you use your Hexoskin in an offline manner without having an internet connection. And just to wrap up the demo section of our presentation, we also have a lot of neat tools uh, that developers or you know, even amateur programmers can use to build their own apps using our Hexoskin device. So with the Hexoskin smart device, you can leverage the BLE to stream certain data points to your own app that you can build on any platform. Um, we also have uh, an SDK license available, which basically lets you access the whole Bluetooth library 
in real time from the device. Now, the SDK does come at a cost, and you can contact your team for more information. And I'll hand it now back to Dennis. We'll conclude today's presentation. Thanks, Daniel. Today, 22 validations have been conducted against gold standards, and the HexoScan has been put to use in over 160 scientific publications and counting. That's an average of about two publications a month since the release of HexoScan back in 2012. And with more publications on the way, HexoScan and its open platform is the wearable of choice for professionals and researchers around the world. Over the years, a large number of publications have been conducted in cardiology, respiratory, activity, sleep assessment, stress, user experience, fatigue, cognitive state, and sports in various populations such as first responders, medical practitioners, the military, industrial workers, and clinical patients in pediatrics, among other groups of population. If you'd like to learn more about the research conducted, don't hesitate to submit your request to access our complete list of scientific publication by scanning the QR code at the bottom right of the screen or by contacting our team at info at hexaskin.com. With that being said, with the growing numbers of professionals and researchers planning on getting started with their studies and projects, We've put into place the Hexoskin Plus Professionals and Hexoskin Plus Research. These programs are meant to support you from start to finish by providing you with discounts on equipment for both Hexoskin and Astroskin, free access to the apps, dashboard, and software, free data hosting and access to our open API, a complimentary onboarding and training session, free technical support, and free shipping to the US and Canada. The team here would love to hear about your project, so please feel free to reach out to our team today at sales at hexaskin.com to take advantage of these programs. So we just presented an overview of the Hexaskin and the Connected Health Platform, its features and capabilities. Something to keep in mind when researchers purchase an Hexaskin is that they get access to a complete end-to-end -end platform, which includes apps for iOS and Android devices with activity recording, and real-time data visualization, access to the OneSync software that Daniel just mentioned for seamless data synchronization, access to the open API and free data hosting, and licensing options for developers and organizations interested in real-time stream and access to the OneView dashboard to manage large studies. Finally, make sure to visit our website at hexaskin.com for the latest news and details on our products and upcoming releases. And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to do so to receive news and invitations for future events. All right, this is what we have for today. Just want to thank you all for having attended today's webinar. Uh, if there are any questions that you guys have that come up later on, please feel free to reach out to our team and we'll be uh, able to answer those questions for you. Thank you all for having attended today's webinar and we're looking forward to speaking with you soon. Bye for now.